So anyway, yeah, so we start off with uh, the two printers, the laser cutter and the press, which I'll show you, and like a couple sewing machines when we do all the product development here. And then um, we had someone sew our first run initially, and we realized right away that that wasn't going to work out, and we just started buying sewing machines and hiring people. So um, Enrique has been great. So he's been in the... Um, um, and then they have uh, another suite, another 6,000 square feet next door, and they've got a, a rowing business, right? And this was their garage. And it was just like full of motorcycles and rowboats and like, I don't know, like saws and all sorts of their father's uh, like workshop stuff. And we just kept back them, like, hey, we want to move in, we want to move in. And they, they slowly gave us space. Your or other people's, obviously, yeah, right? exactly. So just different random, you know, old Paximo stuff I used to sell. Sure. Uh, you know, we've ridden it all basically. You know, here's a here's an early prototype of a jersey that uses that that carbon fabric. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's a different one with the, with the carbon side panels. Just different stuff. We're always trying to, you know, test and see what works, what doesn't, what we like, what we don't. Size samples, and they usually try and make them really ugly so that they don't <laughs> leave the building. Because I'm always taking stuff like, oh, I like that. This is some of the first gear we ever made right here for the Wadi Ink brand. Colors were all off. This is supposed to be gray. It came out kind of greenish. <laughs> um, all sorts of. Dude, we were cutting. We were cutting stuff by hand when our uh, when we first got our, our laser. There was um, some issues with it, and we were dude, we were cutting by hand from night like 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> like, how can we get this out? Like, you know, stories you you know have a beer and, and drink about later. Lots of beers. Lots of beers. <laughs> I have one. Like a business. So this is this is some of our this is a, a new design we launched for the Hawaii site. Mm -hmm. it's kind of fun Japanese artwork. Um, what else? This is a pro kit for one of the one of the pro triathletes. So fun things like this, and uh, we get to do a lot of small runs. Nice. It's kind of. Uh... Like late '90s Mape. Yeah, dude, I love the Mape kits, right? That, that was my favorite design ever. Actually, when I lived in Japan, I had a full Mape kit. No, I actually had a vest that I wore everywhere. <laughs> we like to say we're elite, but we're not elitist. Like we want it to be accessible to everybody. Um, and you know, we've had multiple multiple manufacturers come to us, like, hey, will you make our we make our gear? And some of them are like high end, like European brands that don't make or they want access to like the American market. They're like, hey, will you make our stuff? And we're like, sorry, dude, we want that business. Why would we make it for you? you know? I actually got another call today from another another company. Didn't you guys do like a Mexican national champ kit for yeah, some? Yeah, they for don't Flavio. Even, yeah, because he's, he's not even on, uh, he doesn't ride out of their, their team, right? Yeah, yeah, they were on Champ Sis, so yeah. we did them a favor. So I know uh, Michael Rockland, okay. uh, who, uh, who ran a couple he ran an under-23 team out here, and then he was the assistant director of sport team for us, for Smart Stop. Sure. And now he's with, um, I don't know, dude, they always change, right? I don't know who he's with this year. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's, when it works, when it works, it's like a Ferrari. Uh, when it doesn't work, it's a Ferrari. <laughs>